After India nailed Chandrayaan-3 and became the first country to hit up the lunar south pole, ISRO's cooking up the next cool thing, the Gaganyaan mission. This ambitious mission aims to send three Vyomnots into space for a three-day mission, ensuring their safe return to Earth. India is currently in the final stages of testing and preparation for this mission, and if all goes as planned, we can witness the launch by the end of 2024. But here's the deal, there's another mission on the DL that ISRO is buzzing about, the Lunar Rock Sample Return Mission. To pull it off, they need some serious space docking skills. They're calling it SpadeX, or the Space Docking Experiment. Now this mission is low-key, the next big deal for India, maybe even bigger than Gaganyaan. Why? Cause SpadeX is laying the groundwork for some seriously high-tech missions that only a handful of countries can pull off. SpadeX is an experimental mission where two satellites, initially connected, will be launched into space, separate over a few kilometers, and then reunite through a docking process. Chandrayaan-3 was a big deal for India. A giant leap, you could say. They had to build the lander and rover from scratch. However, the pursuit of space docking capability demands even more advanced technology than what was harnessed for lunar landings. This includes the implementation of a robotic arm for sample collection, intricate mechanisms for docking in both moon and earth orbits, transfer of samples, and safe re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. Every mission undertaken by ISRO serves as a stepping stone for future validations and endeavors. And space docking holds paramount importance for India for several reasons. It facilitates spacecraft assembly and construction for India's own space station, where large structures can be assembled from smaller, more manageable components in space. It's like Lego for spacecraft. While the first module in 2028 can be launched with the existing rockets, but for building the entire space station, a heavier launch vehicle will be needed. For that, ISRO is working on designing the next generation launch vehicle that will have a capacity to carry 16 to 25 tons to low Earth orbit. Another reason why it's important for India to have docking capability is because it allows spacecraft or space stations to get fuel and maintenance. This helps them last longer and means fewer new launches are needed. In the context of missions beyond Earth orbit, such as those to the Moon, Mars, asteroid mining or interplanetary travel, docking allows for the combination of spacecraft in transit. This may involve assembly in orbit, refueling, or merging vehicles for specific mission phases. Furthermore, space docking is essential for crew transfer between spacecraft and space stations, enabling astronauts to move between different modules or vehicles. This capability is crucial for crew rotations, emergency evacuations, or personnel exchange during complex missions. Lastly, Docking is indispensable for cargo transfer between spacecraft, playing a vital role in resupply missions to space stations, where cargo spacecraft dock to deliver essential supplies, equipment, and experiments. Alright, so here's the lowdown on how India is planning to snag some moon dust and bring it back home. India has already begun preparing for the SpadeX mission, as the Indian Space Research Organization recently showcased a clever maneuver. They demonstrated the ability to bring a spacecraft back from the moon using leftover fuel in the propulsion module. First, there's this ascender module that goes down to the moon, collects lunar samples, and heads back up to orbit around the moon. It then docks with another spacecraft in lunar orbit to transfer the collected lunar samples. Next up, the journey back to Earth begins. The spacecraft, now loaded with lunar samples, starts its trip home. In Earth's orbit, it connects with another module, basically joining two vehicles together in space. Finally, the combined spacecraft, carrying the lunar samples, heads back to Earth thanks to the second module. Just like astronauts in the Gaganyaan mission, the final splashdown in the sea, using parachutes, concludes the mission. The expertise gained from these lunar sample return missions contributes to ISRO's capabilities, potentially supporting future crewed missions to the moon, including astronaut landings. 
Beyond these missions, ISRO is developing an inflatable habitat module for astronauts to walk around and conduct experiments. Additionally, innovative technologies, such as satellites capable of refueling other satellites in space, and an ISRO servicer module, with robotic arms, for maintenance and module replacement are on the horizon. In summary, as India gears up to snag some moon dust and dream big in the cosmos, we eagerly anticipate the unfolding of these space sagas that will undoubtedly leave a lasting imprint on the future of space exploration. Stay tuned for more cosmic feats from India.